welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 delicious food. So before starting this video, like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. There is no love sincerer than the love of food, George Bernard Shaw said. Judging by the number of amazing dishes out there, he was right. But which are the tastiest? Which are the best foods? And what are destinations that serve them? We've scoured the planet for what we think are 10 of the most delicious foods ever created. For now, feast your eyes and control your drooling, as we reveal, some of the world's best foods that can help you make travel plans. Number 10. Chicken Muamba, Gabon. A bastardized western version of this delectable Gabonese dish swamps everything in peanut butter. Oh, the insanity. The proper recipe calls for chicken, hot chili, garlic, tomato, pepper, salt, okra and palm butter, an artery-clogging African butter that will force you into a second helping, and a promise to start using your gym membership. Moambe chicken is regarded as the national dish of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, formerly Zaire. It is also considered the national dish of Gabon where it is known as Pule Nyembwe, and in Angola where it is known as Muamba de Galina, although the Angolan dish is purely Brazilian, in origin, it is a common household dish in Belgium. Angolan Muamba chicken can be found in Portugal, or example at the Lisbon restaurant Chilabos. Number 9. Ice Cream, Global. You may have just gorged yourself to eruption point, but somehow there's always room for a tooth-rotting pile of ice cream with nuts, marshmallows and chocolate sauce. Thank God for extra long spoons that allow you get at the real, weight gain stuff all mixed up and melted at the bottom of the glass. The meaning of the name ice cream varies from one country to another. Terms such as frozen custard, frozen yogurt, sorbet, gelato, and others are used to distinguish different varieties and styles. In some countries, such as the United States, ice cream applies only to a specific variety, and most governments regulate the commercial use of the various terms according to the relative quantities of the main ingredients, notably the amount of cream. Products that do not meet the criteria to be called ice cream are sometimes labeled frozen dairy dessert instead. In other countries, such as Italy and Argentina, one word is used for all variants. Analogues made from dairy alternatives, such as goat's or sheep's milk, or milk substitutes, e.g., soy, cashew, coconut, almond milk or tofu, are available for those who are lactose intolerant, allergic to dairy protein, or vegan. Number 8. Tom Yum Goong, Thailand. This best food Thai masterpiece teams with shrimp, mushrooms, usually loaded with coconut milk and cream, the hearty soup, unifies a host of favorite Thai tastes, sour, salty, spicy and sweet. Best of all is the price. Cheap, he taste of Tom Yum is based on sour and spicy flavors. A paste called Nam Prick Pao is prepared as a base of the soup, to which water, herbs and meat are added. The Nam Prick Pao is made from roasted chilies, shallots, and garlic and the ingredients are best grilled on a charcoal fire. The basic ingredient of Tom Yum is shrimp or pork. The most popular Tom Yum base is river shrimp called Tom Yum Goon. The essential ingredients of tom yum are herbs such as lemongrass, galangal, and kaffir lime leaves. Other ingredients are also important, especially Thai chilies, mushroom, coriander leaf, cilantro, tomatoes, sweet white onions, lime juice, sugar, and fish sauce. Tom yum nam con is a variety with coconut milk or evaporated milk. Number 7. Penang Assam Luxa, Malaysia. One of Malaysia's most popular dishes. Poached, flaked mackerel, tamarind, chili, mint, lemongrass, onion, pineapple. One of Malaysia's most popular dishes is an addictive, spicy sour fish broth with noodles, especially great when fused with ginger, that'll have your nose running before the spoon even hits your lips. There are various theories about the origins of luxa. One of the theory connected luxa to the 15th century Ming Chinese naval expeditions led by Zheng He, whose armada navigated maritime Southeast Asia. Overseas Chinese migrants had settled in various parts of maritime Southeast Asia, long before Zheng He's expedition. However, it was after this that the number of Chinese migrants and traders significantly increased. These Chinese men intermarried into the local populations, and together they formed mixed-race communities called the Peranakans or Straits Chinese. Some of them are the local savory fish soup noodles with coconut milk and spices, there's a lot of differences between the Peranakan luxa and local people luxa, local people luxa has a thick, creamy, spicy and fragrant soup. While the Peranakan luxa looks more like a curry noodles with fried bean curd and prawn. 
In Malaysia, the Malacca Luxa dish is believed to have been introduced by Peranakan Chinese Malay in Malacca. In Singapore, the dish, or its local Katong version, is believed to have been created after interaction between the Peranakans with the local Singaporeans Malay. In Indonesia, the dish is believed to have been born from the mixing of local people cultures, cooking practice and Chinese immigrant, historians believe Luxa is a dish that was born from actual intermarriage. In early coastal Pechinan, Chinese settlement, in maritime Southeast Asia, it was only Chinese men that ventured abroad out from China to trade. When settling down in the new town, these Chinese traders and sailors set out to find local wives, and these women began incorporating local spices and coconut milk into Chinese noodle soup served to their husbands. This creates the hybrid Chinese local, Malay or Javanese, culture called Peranakan culture. As Peranakan Chinese communities have blended their ancestors' culture with local culture, Peranakan communities in different places now demonstrate diversity according to the local flavor. Number 6. Hamburger, Germany. Who can resist a juicy hamburger? When something tastes so good that people spend $20 billion each year in a single restaurant chain devoted to it, you know it has to fit into this list. McDonald's may not offer the best burgers, but that's the point it doesn't have to. The bread-meat-salad combination is so good that entire countries have ravaged their ecosystems just to produce more cows. As versions of the meal have been served for over a century, its origin remains ambiguous. The popular book The Art of Cookery Made Plain and Easy by, Hannah Glass included a recipe in 1758 as, Hamburger Sausage, which suggested to serve it roasted with toasted bread under it, a similar snack was also popular in Hamburg by the name, Rundstuck Warm, Bread Roll Warm, in 1869, or earlier, and supposedly eaten by many emigrants on their way to America, but may have contained roasted beefsteak rather than fricadella. Hamburg steak is reported to have been served between two pieces of bread on the Hamburg America line, which began operations in 1847. Each of these may mark the invention of the hamburger, and explain the name. Number 5. Peking Duck, China. Obsessed with Peking Duck. Duck de Chine offers one of Beijing's most memorable dining experiences. The maltose syrup glaze coating the skin is the secret. Slow roasted in an oven, the crispy, syrup-coated skin is so good that authentic eateries will serve more skin than meat and bring it with pancakes, onions and hoisin or sweet bean sauce. Other than flying or floating, this is the only way you want your duck. Number 4. Sushi, Japan. When Japan wants to build something right, it builds it really right. Brand giants such as Toyota, Nintendo, Sony, Nikon, and Yamaha may have been created by people fueled by nothing more complicated than raw fish and rice, but it's how the fish and rice is put together that makes this a global first date favorite. The Japanese don't live practically forever for no reason they want to keep eating this stuff. Sushi is traditionally made with medium grain white rice, though it can be prepared with brown rice or short grain rice. It is very often prepared with seafood, such as squid, eel, yellowtail, salmon, tuna or imitation crab meat. Many types of sushi are vegetarian. It is often served with pickled ginger, gari, wasabi, and soy sauce. Daikon radish or pickled daikon, takuan, are popular garnishes for the dish. Number 3. Chocolate, Mexico. Chocolate is the ultimate tasty treat. The Mayans drank it, Lass Hallström made a film about it and the rest of us get over the guilt of eating too much of it by eating more of it, the story of the humble cacao bean is a bona fide out of the jungle, into civilization tale of culinary wonder. Without this creamy, bittersweet confection, Valentine's Day would be all cards and flowers, Easter would turn back into another dull religious event. Number 2. Neapolitan Pizza, Italy. Neapolitan Pizza, always delicious no matter the size. Spare us the lumpy chain monstrosities and everything on it, wheels of greed. The best pizza was and still is the simple Neapolitan, an invention, now protected by its own trade association that insists on sea salt, high-grade wheat flour, the use of only three types of fresh tomatoes, hand-rolled dough, and the strict use of a wood-fired oven, among other quality stipulations. With just a few ingredients dough, tomatoes, olive oil, salt and basil, the marinara pizza does not even contain cheese, the Neapolitans created a food that few make properly, but everyone enjoys thoroughly. Number 1. Masaman Curry, Thailand. One more reason to visit Thailand. Emphatically the king of curries, and perhaps the king of all foods. Spicy, coconutty, sweet and savory. 
Even the packet sauce you buy from the supermarket can make the most delinquent of cooks look like a Michelin potential. Thankfully, someone invented rice, with which diners can mop up the last drizzles of curry sauce. The land of smiles isn't just a marketing catchline. It's a result of being born in a land where the world's most delicious food is sold on nearly every street corner. Due to its Muslim roots and therefore Islamic dietary laws, this curry is most commonly made with chicken, but there are also variations on this dish using duck, beef, venison, mutton, goat, or, less commonly, pork. The curry paste is first fried with coconut cream, and only then a meat, potatoes, onions, fish sauce or salt, tamarind paste, sugar, coconut milk, and peanuts added, masaman is usually eaten with rice together in a meal with other dishes. There are also traditional versions using oranges, orange juice, or pineapple juice as additional ingredients. What do you think of our video? Which of the dish do you think is the most delicious? Do let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.